Hi, Hiram here. I don't know about you, but I like using tea light candles when I go out camping. It gives a nice little light uh, around the campsite. I have a lantern too. I should have pulled that out that I use. But it doesn't give you enough light to really read by or anything. Let me see if I can show you here. See how you can just barely see my hand. But I saw something on the internet that uses a tea light candle. Now, if you look at tea light candles, very little of the energy in a tea light candle actually comes out in light. Most of it comes out in heat, the energy. So it's wasted. So I found this thing on the internet. It's called a tea pod, a thermal electric power on demand. It looked kind of interesting, so I thought I'd give it a try. I'm going to unbox it here. People seem to like me doing that. But it's a device that uses the heat of a tea light candle to generate electricity for a little LED light. Now you've seen me in the past, I've done a couple of videos uh, that use, that convert heat into electricity. The one that I did with the tuna fish cans with the thermal electric in between, stuff like that. This is kind of along that same line. And if this works, it should be pretty interesting. Yeah, it's called the Teapot Thermal Electric Power on Demand. Now, I already downloaded the information from their website. I'll give you a link down below for that. But it comes with unscented tea lights. Handy. And this is the device itself. This is the teapot. Now it comes with a base that you put your candle on here. This allows you to move it around. But this is the the important part. Also comes with a cool. Also comes with a pouch to save it in, to carry it in. Let me move this. But this is the teapot. This sets on top of the candle. The heat goes up through, hitting this part, which is supposed to be connected or in contact with a thermal electric device. These are the fins for cooling it off. Pretty cool. Let me just move this over. What is this? Warning, use only as directed. Keep out of reach of children. De oh, device is hot when operating. Okay. It's pretty sad that we got to tell people that today. Uh, and then on the top, I don't know if you can see it in this. There we go. There's an outlet here for the LED light. So let me just put this on top of the candle. This, I assume, is the light. Come on. Now, I didn't set it on. They call this a mobility tray. I guess it kind of holds the stuff together so that you can move it around. In this case, I'm just going to leave it setting here. This is the LED light power cord type connector with a pile of, can you see that? LED elements there. Gooseneck. Boy, if this works, this ought to be pretty cool. Has an on off switch on the side of the light. Of course, you realize I'm just wasting time so that this thing heats up. Yeah, on off switch. Pretty cool. Now, <clears throat> says light being given off by the LED lamp is about 20 times more intense than the light that came off that candle by itself. So this should be enough for reading or whatever you want to do around the campsite without using your flashlights. Also, tea lights. Um, well, you get different things about how long they burn, but it'll be a couple of hours that a tea light will burn on its own. So that should be pretty nice. Not a lot of batteries having to be wasted. Okay, let's see what happens here. I'm pretty sure it said switch up for on. Okay, so that's on. Let's see what happens. So this just goes into the outlet. 
No, nothing yet. Maybe I didn't let it wait long enough. Let me see. What can I do here? Okay, it's not getting warm there, but it does say to just leave it run for a couple of minutes. Uh, uh, like I said, I'll give you a link down below for where to find these on the Internet. I think this cost me about $45 plus shipping. If this works, which I'm hoping it works, this will be nice for the money. Never have a joke when I need one. Okay, I'm going to let this run for a little bit, and I'll come back when the light comes on. So be right back. Okay, it's been almost two minutes since I left you. The ring is now coming on. Pretty cool. Let me turn out the light, see what it looks like. It's getting brighter. So it took a little bit longer than what it said. Now, the top part of this, this black ring on the top, is supposed to be how you move it around. You can use that to move it around. This part, it's not hot yet, but as it goes, it is getting warm. But as it goes, that will get hotter. But you can move it to the side. Again, you can use this mobility tray. This is supposed to be for picking it up to move it. I didn't put that on there for this time. Okay, it is getting brighter. Let's see what happens. Now that's, it's not showing up as much on the camera, but it is bright enough to read by. And I'm hoping that as time goes on, it'll get a little bit brighter and a little bit brighter. But that's way brighter than using a, a tea light candle, I'll say. Hopefully you can see that on the camera. Now this would burn, I would say, for at least two hours like this. So not bad. You'd go through batteries left and right compared to the tea light candles themselves. Pretty cool. This is from a place called Telerex. Again, I'll leave, I don't know if you can see me. Let me turn the light back on. I'll leave a link down below on where you can find more information with this. I'm looking forward to using this outside for camping. This would also, it might be a, a little bit heavy, especially for Graham Weenies. Um, I don't know, how much does this thing weigh? Does it say? It says it weighs less than 12 ounces. Still, that would be kind of heavy for Graham Weenies, but for an emergency type situation, man, this would be great for a cabin or car camping this could be really cool yeah it's getting brighter a little bit brighter so that's the Telerex teapot thermal electric let me get this right it's a thermal electric <laughs> getting a brain fart here yeah thermal electric power on demand so pretty cool. I think this will be well worth the money. Took a little bit longer to light up than I thought it would, but still, it's going. Okay, so I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.